This video is to teach you about some common behaviors seen in both female hognose and corn snakes that are about to lay their eggs. This is a female arctic hetzanthic bred to a su arctic superconda hetzanthic. This is Wanda. And Wanda is about six days post prelay shed. There's a little bit of it back there. I got most of it. I have removed her hide because she last year laid her eggs all over the place, including in her hide, which roasted and killed several. Now, if you take a look, her tub is a disaster. She has dumped her water pretty much every single time I fill it within 20 minutes. That is something I notice right away is that they get very, very, very messy and restless. Now she's eminent. When they get quiet, when they go in their tub and stay, that usually is meaning eggs are coming within the next 12 hours. Now Wilhelmina is just going blue for her prelay shed. Oh, good God, girl. <laughs> but you can see she is also very broody. You can see she's moved all her bedding to one corner and she rests on this end. Let me see your eyes. Yeah, you can't quite see the blue, the opaque, opacity on her yet it's more so in her belly scales but uh, when I opened her tub yesterday to give her water so that was yesterday she got fresh water uh, this is what greeted me so this told me she's probably going blue and sure enough when I checked her belly she's just starting to go blue switching over to a corn snake this is peppercorn she is 11 days post prelay shed now I find corns usually go about 10 days, hogs go about five with some variations. I've had as much as 12 days in a hog and 17 in a corn. So you can see she is also very broody. She's making a mess. I keep having to close the lid to her tub. I keep having to take care of her water, uh, which is dumped again. Uh, it's almost impossible to keep fresh water in with these girls when they like this. But when she goes in her tub, and I think, I'm expecting eggs in the next 24 to 48 hours. When she goes in her little hide, her little lay box, and stays there, that tells me, okay, eggs are on the way. So this suggests she's getting close to laying her eggs. Okay, it is the next evening after I showed you her behaviors. And you can see just about 10 minutes ago, she started laying eggs. When I checked in on her, she was in here and quiet. When they go in the lay box and stay, that is usually a good sign that egg laying is imminent. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so she's not tempted to eat. I do this with the hogs, not with the corns. And last year, she laid all her eggs all over the place. So the fact that it's in the lay box is a very good sign. The fact that this egg is white is a good sign. I'll take that out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm leaving you alone now. So there's the egg. And then I always label them. I'll put a little something on top and there you go. First egg from Wanda. This is Elvira. She just had her prelay shed yesterday. So I do find they lay their eggs uh, fairly quickly after shedding, usually about three days or so, uh, at least for my two girls as opposed to like five or six for a hog and 10 to 15. It, I do find they lay their eggs uh, fairly quickly after shedding, usually about three days or so, uh, at least for my two girls, as opposed to like five or six for a hog and 10 to 15-ish for corn. But you can see she's in the nesting phase. She's very uncomfortable. She's all over the place. She's starting to move all this bedding out. She's knocked her water over, so. That's the early stage of uh, gearing up to lay eggs. And here is peppercorn the next evening. She has been settling some. She is more in the lay box than she's out. She's in, out, in, out. But in, out, in, out is still in the other tub and stays in here. Then we know the eggs are coming. So I would expect if she maintains this behavior that I should see eggs in the morning. But if she comes out of this tub again, then uh, it's it goes back to the iffy. No eggs yet this morning, but I believe she is very close because she's come in here and she's staying. Now, she's still pretty alert when they are actually laying. They get kind of, I don't know, they just kind of uh, get into almost like a trance. Um, 
and get very quiet. I take them out. Yeah, see, she's moving too much. A lot of times what I'll do with uh, my corn snakes is I'll pick it up and I'll see if I can do this. Look at the bottom of the tub, see if I can see any eggs. But yeah, she's she's not going yet. So I'm gonna leave her alone. But I think she's really close. In, out, in, out. Right now, still no. Still no eggs. Okay, next morning. She's in her tub and staying in her tub, but no eggs. Uh, now finally, we have the egg. I might need to go get an egg box ready for her. Well, ready for her eggs. <laughs>